Hello. Have you ever wanted to turn off the outline selection glow that occurs when you right click and you're editing objects? See how it's going blue there? And for non linked objects, of course, you're going to see yellow. Well, I'll show you how. You may recall from my advanced attachment adjustment video tutorial, I was looking for a way, and this is where you go to. Control Alt D or Option Control D on a Mac, press that and open the advanced menu. It appears right here, then you can go down to Debug Settings. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife, but it's not Swiss. It's not an Army knife either. But it does have a lot of cool features inside which are hidden. Let me go here, and you're going to want to type in, right, like it says, Selection Highlight Thickness, and change the default value to zero. Enter that, and now you'll need to relog. Yes, it needs a relog, so if you're wondering why you didn't see a change right away, this is why. Okay, Second Life, come on, log me back in. There we go, come on, come on. And by the way, I'm using the 1.19.1 .1 release candidate. We did rename the debug menu to advanced to make it more user friendly. You're going to want to check that out. In case you're wondering, hey, this looks different. Well, you can try it out today. No vaporware, friends. Okay, so now that we're back in and I've changed that, you'll notice that I can select things. And of course, now they have no selection outline. Now, this might be confusing as well. So you're going to want to make sure that you tailor it to your tastes, meaning that you could set it to, a, say, 0 0.005 or something really big if you really like the glow. Go ahead and experiment and show me what you come up with. That's part of the fun of Second Life. Thank <laughs> you.